In this tutorial, you will learn how to open and follow up on a support case at adtran.com. Begin at supportcommunity.adtran.com and click Sign In in the upper right. After entering your adtran.com credentials, you'll be returned to this landing page. Next, select the My Customer Dashboard tile, then click the My Support Case Portal button, followed by the Create a Support Case button. If you have an emergency outage, it is recommended to call our support center directly. Our customer care representatives usually answer in a matter of seconds and will walk you through opening a ticket for your issue. Be prepared with specific product information that you're calling about, including the serial number and details of the outage or failure. This process will set you up for a ticket callback from a product support engineer. For non-emergency support cases, click this green Create View Support Cases button and complete the fields that appear. Select the product family and product series. These fields are required. The serial number and service plan number fields are optional, but do help to expedite processing your service request and route your request to the proper support team. While it is possible to open a new support case without entering a serial number, ultimately you will need to provide this. Note that there are no serial numbers for Adtran cloud software such as Device Manager, Home Analytics, or MCP. For opening cases related to these products, the serial number field should be left blank. Continue on to explain your issue by selecting a case type. Select Technical Question to indicate a slightly lower priority case type. Selecting Trouble Resolution indicates you have a more pressing issue with an Adtran product. To further indicate the urgency of your request, select a priority from the next drop-down list. Choose from Minor, Medium, or Major. Next, enter a short description of your question or concern. Please be concise, but we ask that you enter something more descriptive than, for instance, unit is bad. In the next field, describe your issue in detail and try to include things like how often the problem is happening, what behavior is observed, how the unit is affected, what are the steps to reproduce this issue. Also include any logs or supporting information from the device. We'll show you how to attach these in a moment. Click the Next button at the bottom of the screen. On this screen, confirm that your contact information is correct. Feel free to enter multiple phone numbers if that's your preferred contact method. When we follow up with you for this ticket, if we receive a voicemail box or are otherwise unable to reach you on the first number, we will immediately move on to the second number in an attempt to reach you in a timely fashion. If instead you prefer an email response, you can indicate that using this radio button below. You'll want to confirm your email address is up to date as well. Upon clicking Submit, you can review a summary of your requested support case. This information will also be sent to you via email. Should you need to edit, add, or correct something in this case, use the Update This Case link in the lower left. Updates may include uploading an attachment to the case you just opened. If you have multiple open cases, you'll see multiple entries in this list. Be sure to select the proper case for which your attachment applies. From this Upload a File section, click Browse to select the file to be uploaded from your local drive. Once the file name has been indicated, click the Upload button immediately to the right. Helpful attachments may include configuration files, network diagrams, debugs, packet captures, or other log files. While you're here, there are other types of support case updates you may wish to take advantage of. From this Update Support Case link, you can revise contact phone numbers or provide an additional note that will be attached to the case history. From this link, you can manage users who have access to all your cases. This function allows you to add the email addresses of colleagues within your organization whom you wish to have visibility to support cases you've initiated. Simply enter the email address and click the Add button. 
This email address must be associated with someone who also has a login to addran.com. These permissions you ascribe can be easily edited at will from this same screen. To give this permission for viewing only this particular case, you may add the email address of your colleague here. Give special attention to the status field at the top of this page. Until the case is resolved, it may shift from AdTran in process to waiting on customer. Waiting on customer indicates additional action or information is required from you in order for progress on the case to continue. Review the latest case notes for details. To facilitate ongoing communication regarding this case, use this Send Email link. While it is possible to edit the subject line, do not remove or alter the ticket number that is pre-populated there. Doing so will cause your message to not be received and an auto-reply with an error message will be sent to you. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to initiate, edit, and maintain a support case at adtran.com. For more helpful details on opening a support case and other related topics, please check out the Help and Feedback section here at supportcommunity.adtran.com. Thank you for watching.